My name is Tanya Kari. I'm a proud Paralympian. I competed in cross-country skiing for Finland. Olympic champion and, and gold medalist Tanya Kari. I'm currently leading the Adaptive Sports and Recreation program at the University of Utah. There are individuals with super high level injuries who need technology in their everyday life and that means that they're going to need in their sports too. For the past 30 years there really hasn't been anything out there that allows someone of the disability level that we're targeting to ski independently. We realized very early on that there's only certain amount of adaptive equipment available and that equipment is typically available to those who are the most able. It's really a, a total dream. I've been thinking about this for a, a lot of years and the technology finally caught up. So a lot of the folks that were injured were injured doing some sports related uh, type of activity. And so to bring a sport back to them at this level when they didn't think they could do it is really been an amazing experience for the whole team. The Tetra Ski is kind of an electrified version of the Tessier snow cart. We are tapping in the population that really doesn't have even much arm function left or none. The snow cart is a manually controlled device. We just thought that you know we could enhance it by different electrical and software controls that would make it a truly independent device for the more complex disabilities. Manual cart ski, you still need your biceps and wrist extensors to be able to operate it. We figured out that what if you don't have that function? What are you gonna do then? So now if you have function in your mouth, you can be in charge of what the ski does. Here we have the sip and puff system. It's basically an air tube that's connected to the powered actuators. So they live down here. They control each ski independently. They are capable of about 500 pounds of force per ski. So, you know, any kind of terrain we're going through, they are more than capable of driving the skis. And as you give it a sip or a puff, you'll translate the skis left or right accordingly. For individuals with a higher injury levels, the boarding field has been pretty narrow. It's been few things, but more like someone is actually doing the sport for them and they are enjoying the ride. The Tetra Ski changes all that by allowing people to control their own turns, control the line that they ski down the mountain themselves, and allow someone a nearly complete independent skiing experience. The joystick unit lives here. At its core functionality, it's just left to go left and right to go right. As someone gets more experienced, we can unlock more capabilities of the joystick and allow them to control wedging so they can basically control their amount of speed based on varying terrain. The instructor has a remote control that they can use to override the skier at any time. If someone's not skiing properly, we can kind of step in, show them how proper turns are made using this wirelessly, and then allow them to replicate that on snow themselves. We do operate it tethered, and the tether is designed to be a pure emergency brake. The tether doesn't affect the way the ski skis at all, and we want to stress that this is an independent experience, but if we do need to slam on the brakes, we can slam on the brakes and stop very quickly if we need to. The people with uh, the highest disabilities can do a lot of uh, sport. When you have equipment like this, you can be active, you can be like others, and I think it's great. The technology that we have on the ski can pretty much do anything the participant wants it to do. A lot of the people we bring out have never been skiing before, never been in the mountains, and would never be able to experience that otherwise. And so it's really cool, especially for me as a skier myself, to make people aware that yes, this does exist, and yes, you can ski independently. We are happy when we see individual with disability doing something. I think that the ultimate goal could be to be in the Paralympic program with this development.